Hey guys, uh, EJ Lockpix here. Got a new one for you. Uh, Master Lock 570. Um, got the keys. Works perfectly. Oops. Um, it's a dead core, if, if y'all don't know. So there's no spring tension to, to worry about. So tension control is going to be a huge, a huge thing with this lock. We're locked up, but uh, here's the fitting. It's uh, there it is. Nice low cut in the in the front, make it uh, very difficult to get into. So I'm gonna have to work my way around and kind of do a little trick. Um, I'm gonna use a hook and a diamond for this the hook I'm gonna since I already know this lock I've picked it already so I'm gonna set the first binding pin and it's pin one that really deep cut right in the front and as soon as I set him I, I'm gonna get a little a little false set and he's he's a little difficult to get under uh, see I felt it you might have even heard a, a slight click on the video and now I'm going to switch to the diamond, get under there, and try to, try to stick this sucker in there. He's a real bitch to get in there, let me tell you. But once I get him in there, and then, this is the weird part about this, I get this jammed in there, and then it'll get stuck. I'll literally have to stop what I'm doing and pull everything out just to finish the lock. Now he's a real pain in the ass to get in there. Once I get him in there, I'll tell you. Come on. All right, screw it. We're going to try another technique. This is really starting to hurt my hand. I'm digging in my hand with this pick. But if I can, um, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try top tension. I don't have those Peterson pry bars like, like other people do. So it's kind of difficult to make these stay. Oh, there he goes. There's one pin. So I kind of fell into a deeper false. There's another one. There it is. Okay. So, <laughs> my foolproof method of, oh, well, quote unquote, foolproof, full, foolproof method of picking this lock um, wasn't working for me today. Switched over to top tension and it worked. We got it picked. There it is. So, um, binding order was actually straight front to rear. Um, I never really noticed that at first. Um, but that is, that's it. It is pin picked. Um, difficult pick. Four spool pins, one standard pin. Um, but, uh, if you're, if you're picking locks and you know how to pick spool pins already, um, try to get this one, because this one's a, a little more challenging. With that dead core, you really need to, uh, be light with your tension, and, uh, and, what, but, um, you'll feel, you'll feel the feedback even, even better without the spring tension on it. Um, just be careful of that warding. 
it's basically an M1 keyway with the warding reversed. Um, here, let me lock this back up. Oh yeah, it's it's key retaining, so you have to lock the lock to to close it. Um, for comparison, here's a master number one. See how the groove is on the left on the master number one, and it's on the right on the 570. So it's basically the M1 keyway just reversed. Um, but that's it, uh, Master 570.